We had a, quite the look, and now we're seeing the twinkling lights of the Magic City in Birmingham. This a live look from our Storm Team Tower Cam located at the BJCC. It's all dry in Birmingham now, but we're not completely clear just yet. Still tracking a few light showers from Fort Payne Center down towards Heflin. No lightning being detected on our lightning tracker, so at least it will be a quiet night as those showers and storms continue their lift to the north and northeast. Temperatures right now ranging anywhere between 73 and Gadsden to 77 in Tuscaloosa. Mild night, and we really won't see a big change in these temperatures overnight tonight as cloud cover is going to remain the main feature of the sky. Morning lows falling into the low and mid 70s, so we'll see a little change. Where we see a thinning out of those clouds, we'll get a little bit cooler temperatures. Could see some upper 60s from Hamilton, Double Springs over towards Coleman. If you're starting back to school tomorrow or just returning, this is how the forecast shapes up for tomorrow. Start your day is going to be quiet. A few clouds could even have some patchy fog. Temperatures at 73 at 8 a.m. By lunchtime, temperatures will be in the upper 70s. Only about a 1 in 3 chance of an afternoon shower. Better coverage by the afternoon. This could impact that drive home from school. So just be mindful of that. Here's what it looks like on the maps. And the reason for the rain tomorrow is actually a cold front that's going to be moving through. And really, it should just be a front more than anything. It's not going to bring us cooler air, just some cooler dew point values. We'll talk about that in a second. By noon tomorrow, most of those showers along and north of Highway 278. By 3 p.m., widely scattered showers and storms. That's what we saw the last several days. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon, 91 in Tuscaloosa, 89 in Birmingham, low 80s in Coleman with some of that rain-cooled air. By 5 p.m., showers and storms will still dot our radar, but those will slide south through the early evening, and I would say by midnight tomorrow night, completely dissipating. Temperatures overnight Thursday night to Friday morning will be in the mid-70s, and we begin to dry out on Friday, and that's the good news. So we'll go from sunshine uh, or some rain tomorrow to sunshine by the end of the week. We'll take it. Only a slight chance of rain earlier in the day. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s there on Friday. Here's the big story, though. Dew points. This is kind of a good indicator of how much moisture is in the air. When we're in the 70s, it's sticky, it's steamy, it's all the feels of summer. Look what happens late Friday night into Saturday. These numbers just drop drop, drop, and those dew point values will range between the upper 40s to low and mid 50s in central and north Alabama, making Saturday feel oh so nice. Lower humidities with 90, I will take it. Dry air Sunday, and then we'll introduce just a couple of showers in the forecast early next week. And that is a look at your storm team seven day forecast. We have some new